Hello, I'm Harry Riley. Welcome to Harry's Tales. This is a collection of short stories. I enjoyed writing them and I hope you enjoy them too. This one is called The Gardener. This story is fiction and resemblance to anyone either living or dead is entirely coincidental. Reuben Ackroyd was a gardener, a very keen and enthusiastic gardener. He could be seen most days, summer and winter, rain or shine, pottering about in the garden at the side of his little cottage, in the Yorkshire village of Bradstock, deep in the dales. Here was a man at peace with himself, and content with his lot. He always had a cheery wave, a chat and a smile for the old ladies, as they passed on their way to collect their pensions from the post office. He had lived here as long as anyone could remember. At first there were the two of them, Reuben and his wife, but she had been a flighty creature and had left, many years ago, along with the butcher's son, one bright sunny day, while Reuben was at work in the churchyard, he had been the grave digger until the fashion for cremation made him virtually redundant. Now he would dig occasionally as a favour for the vicar and purely for free, to support the struggling church. Most of the flowers that filled the old Norman church each week came from his garden. He would fill up any remaining time, doing favours for the elderly, gardening and odd jobs. If ever a man was destined for sainthood, it was Reuben. He hadn't harboured any ill will for his wayward wife or her young lover and had remarked, whenever taxed on the subject, that she was a lively young thing and he hoped the two of them were happy together and had a far better life than he could have offered in this sleepy little village. He just wished she had kept in touch with a letter or phone call now and again so he could wish them well, like any true Christian should. One of Reuben's big successes was the fruit and vegetables grown in his large greenhouse. He had built it himself, and the whole of the ground inside had been lovingly nourished with organic manure over the years. He sold this tasty produce to the locals, as they regularly beat a path to his door. There were delicious, juicy red tomatoes, giant melons and squash, grapes and even peaches. Any surplus he sold to a local greengrocer. He had won so many trophies at local flower shows for his garden produce, that his small cottage was fair heaving with them, and the rustic charm of his country accent could often be heard wafting across the airwaves on local radio as they sought his advice on all topics horticultural. One day, however, peace was shattered in the village as the lone pilot of a paraplane, which is a sort of motorised parachute, had a problem with his machine. He was flying quite low, and a flock of geese got tangled up in the elliptical wing and brought him crashing down right through the middle of Reuben Ackroyd's greenhouse. The pilot was declared dead at the scene by the medics, and unfortunately, so was Reuben, who had been carefully misting his tomatoes at the time. The dark, richly manured loam that had been so brutally disturbed now gave up a little secret of its own. The rescue services were amazed to discover two human bodies lying each side of the narrow pathway. The forensic specialist was later able to confirm that the skeletal remains were those of Reuben's wife and her lover, the butcher's son. Reuben had conscientiously tended their graves and in death they had helped to provide him with a little extra income in his old age and his village friends with a bountiful harvest. End.